The Clippers trailed Brooklyn by 17 with 10.54 left, then still by 11 with 5.33 left, but ending the game on a vicious 22 to nothing spurt detonated Bridges and the Nets. The Kawhi, Harden, Russ, PG, and Powell flurry was anything but a fluke, as the Clips own the association's best record over the last 31 games of the season, as dating back to mid-November, we're talking about the most successful team in the NBA. Of course, having four future Hall of Famers around their prime somewhat speaks for itself, but the exact spark plug of this Clipper 360 turnaround following early turbulence speaks to several all-timers' selflessness and natural ability to fit the mold within a highly talented basketball system. The definitively mesmerizing Harden and Westbrook narrative, plus an in-depth on-court and statistical evaluation of the Clippers' beastliness, is on its way. Right quick, only 11.8% of you watching right now are subscribed. So if you haven't already, please subscribe and turn on notifications. Also leave a thumbs up, it takes a few seconds and makes a massive difference. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at dflowhoops and I'll follow you back. Link is down below in the description for those two platforms. Drafted by Oklahoma City in 2008 and 2009 respectively, when starting their careers as teammates, Harden and Westbrook learned what it's like to be top contributors to top championship contending rosters right off the bat as young pros. After James moved on to Houston in 2012's free agency, seven years later, Russ would reunite with Harden on the Rockets in 2019, but given they were the first and second options, forced to do a lot more shouldering of the load than they had to as KD's second and third scoring weapons in their early OKC days, Harden and Westbrook failed to make it out of the second round in Houston. However, with Russell in the same sixth man role that James played in OKC, and with James being a primary facilitator and third weapon behind Kawhi and Paul, in their third tenure as teammates, things feel more like 2012 Oklahoma than they do 2020 Houston if you catch my drift. Harden and Westbrook have the ideal amount of responsibility tasked to them, which if they're locked in, they're more than capable of fulfilling, even in the later stages of their careers. Nevertheless, at ages 34 and 35, these two California kids who won a West title together over a decade ago with a better chance than ever before at winning their first rings together, you gotta admit, is an amazing storyline. Adding to the plot, both the Beard and Brody's leadership on and off the court for the 23-24 Clippers has been the driving factor to this squad's beyond noteworthy turnaround. Because when just over two months back after being traded from Philly to Los Angeles, James Harden fell to 0-5 as a Clipper, the usually quiet and defeat Beard would outwardly stay positive, stating to the media, quote unquote, when we figure this out, it's going to be scary. And since that statement, over a 31 game span, the Clippers have posted the NBA's best record with their newest three time scoring champion and two time assist champ, leading the squad in plus minus by far over that span. A key component to sweeping a 3 win, 7 loss start to the year under the rug has been Russell Westbrook's sacrifice in terms of moving to the bench. A decision he had the cojones to make himself, but credit to coach Ty Lue for allowing him to make it, as Westbrook's unselfishness and adaptability to be able to firstly make the bold call to assert himself out of the starting five in the first place, and then be extremely valuable in said role. Against the Nets on Sunday night, among players off the bench, Russell Westbrook's 23 points were a game most, and the all-time triple doubles leader among point guards was additionally a game highest plus 23. Before breaking down the comeback, let's talk about the legitimacy of this Clippers 23-24 season, strictly regarding potential title contention, given the playoffs now sit merely 12 weeks from this recording. Against plus 500 teams, LAC's gone 14-11, and which comparing that to the reigning champion still in contention, Denver Nuggets who are 12 and 11 against plus 500 teams, that's a solid record against said competition. In this order behind the Pelicans, Celtics, Timberwolves, and Bucks, the Clippers own the NBA's best winning percentage. LA's 41 to 15 fourth quarter stomping in 39 to 10 run after going down 17 in the fourth, consisting of scoring 22 consecutive until the final buzzer, was reminiscent of another Kawhi Leonard Norman Powell led team's comeback, being the 2019 Raptors going on a 26 to 3 run in game 6 of an Eastern Conference Finals clincher that closed out the Bucks. Looking at how the Clippers erased Brooklyn's late double-digit advantage to trigger the 22-0 Brooklyn expulsion, credit the nifty play calling from coach Ty Lue to draw up this double cross screen for PG where he then V-cuts to receive a Westbrook pin down, freeing him up just enough for Harden to find him for the spot up. Watch Powell's communication on this end of shot clock inbound, motioning Harden to the paint where he forces the TO, 
before turning defense into offense by weaving a bouncer through Dinwiddie to Kwai, and the former six god cuts it to six with a two-handed flush. Next, Clipper pushing of the pace sees Kwai get hit on the wrist during a Cam Thomas reach-in, then make it a four-point game at the stripe, before a defensive stance in the clutch forces an errant Cam Johnson mid-range brick, to which Russ then pushes the tempo yet again, sells bridges by jumping into a lay-in, collapsing the defense, therefore setting up fellow UCLA product Norm Powell in the corner to make it a one-point game. No, no, that's what I'm talking about! The Clippers would then proceed to get three stops in the span of one possession to ultimately force the 24 second shot clock violation before intelligently clearing out for the stone cold claw to go to work in an isolation where the great Kwai shows off the legendary face up game to give LA their first lead of the night and obviously they didn't look back. Statement comeback without a doubt. For what's now been a high volume of the 82 game grind, the Clips have been playing the type of basketball in which the late James Naismith invented this game for, as their ball movement and general rhythm is quick twitched and deadly. With two world champs in both the fun guy along with Norman Powell, the former Raptors provide a keen knowingness of the championship guideline. Furthermore, Claw and Storm and Norman have title winning experience while also being top Clipper scorers with elite efficiency is the basis behind why you can't really count out the Clippers in terms of contenders. While it's been five seasons of playoff treachery for Clipper fans in the Kawhi and PG era, I think Harden stepping up as the franchise's top passer could be the difference maker in terms of getting LAC legitimately into the mix to be the association's ultimate top dog. Playoff basketball brings out the best and the worst than any given superstar because it's demanding of a team's top scoring option to come through, which has become increasingly the case in the modern age, given six different teams are breaking the offensive rating record all this season. The offensive revolution is well underway in the association. Such a revolution plays right into the high-powered with all-time great shot creating Clippers' hands, as when defenses tighten up, it's going to be insane to watch all of Leonard, George, Harden, and Westbrook all be at the Clippers' disposal. But on top of that, one of the NBA's best role players and another effective shot creator being Norman Powell, as Harden alluded to, it was all about finding a flow and on-court trust. The Clippers have done just that, and given the success they're having, it's terrifying. Why or why not will the Clippers win the finals in your opinion? Best answer gets next video's comment or shout out and competes for free merch of their choosing. Pause to read the answer from today's Community Speaks winner. Appreciate every take. This was your boy D-Flow, and I'll see you next video.